All right, welcome back. We are in week four. We're going to do our lab five walkthrough here. This is our intro to programming for business majors. This is a, an introductory Java course for people who are not in the computer science world. Um, so let's go ahead and let's pop over into our NetBeans. Now, I've already got a project open here, so one thing I want you guys to remember, let's go ahead. Let's just, if you have one open, you want to close it and say, you know, you can leave them open, but you know sometimes it's just better just to have one at a time. You just right click and close. That'll clean that up and bring it back to default. Let's go ahead, let's look at the lab, see what it has to say, and then we will do it. All right, so this lab's gonna be based on conditionals. So we're gonna be doing if then statements. So what we wanna do is run using if else, you know. So what we got here is you're gonna prompt the user for an integer value. You'll display back the user one or two messages. You can either say, hey, guess a number, and either, oh, I'm sorry, that's not right, or, hey, your guess is correct. Uh, and, or you can do it, you know, at a level. Hey, how many kittens did you hug this week? Three, sorry, you fell short of the goal. So that's just it right there. So we're just, I'm going to go ahead and do the, the number guessing game up here. Okay, so pop over. I Again, my new projects. You can also go file, new project, but I'm just going to hit the little thing here, new project. Just going to do like I did all of them Java with Ant, Java application. Again, if you're running an older version of this, it'll say just Java, not Java with Ant. And hit next. And you're just going to make this one. We'll call, I'm going to call this one Lab 5. Okay. And finish. And it'll build itself. And I will readjust my screens. We're looking more at the actual data now. Hold on. There we go. All right. Okay, cool. So here we go. Once again, we have our basic Java program set up. Again, package is because it's a package. It's public class, lab five, always well, we for public class, and then our main method here, and that's where we're going to do all our stuff in the main method. We are asking for input, though, so that doesn't mean we do need to bring in something. And I'm going to use the scanner just because... I like it better. Than, I think it's easier dealing with the dialog boxes. But anyway, so I'm just going to say import Java util scanner. Okay, and then make sure you put your semicolon at the end, and we're good. And again, you see this alert. This alert, something wrong. Yellow just says it's not being used yet. You imported something, but you haven't used it. So we're going to go out here, and we're going to bring in all we want is an entity. All right, so we're going to bring in an integer because we're going to ask a number. So I want you to give me so, and we'll call this the guess. So that would be a good name for that variable. And again, this is the same thing. I've got a the yellow warning. That's because I've got an integer that I have. I mean, I'm sorry. I've, yeah, I've got a variable I created that I have not used yet. So, okay. Now, one thing very important to remember is because we are working with the system here we're working with the scanner system everything you got to tell it if you're if you're not doing just a string you know we have a way of bringing it we got to use the integer thing here so but we're going to go with first thing we do is we do the system out print and then i'm going to say oops guess a number between one and ten. Okay. And I would go ahead, put my semicolon, and then I would say guess is equal to keyboard. Oh wait, forgot. Hold on. See, I messed up. I gotta instantiate this first. So under our variables, let's go ahead. Sorry about this. Gotta make sure we instantiate the scanner, right? We imported the scanner, now we have to instantiate. So how do we instantiate the scanner? We say scanner. And keyboard is just a name we give to it. You can call it whatever you want. You, you could just say K if you wanted to call it. You don't have to use the full word. Equals new scanner system in. If you remember, in with nothing else behind it indicates keyboard. That let you know that that's what the system in by default is. We're going to say our guess is our keyboard dot next int and we'll close this out all right so from here we're going to take the guess they give us 
and we're going to see if it matches up against a value we're going to pick. Well, I guess first of all, wait, we've got to give ourselves a value to pick. Let's go ahead. Gives us another integer, and we'll call this the answer. Okay, so let's just, and let's give the answer a value of, I don't know, we'll make it, make mine six. So, right there. So, instantiated, gave it a value already. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our if-then statement. Or if-else. Okay, so, from here, we're going to say, remember the, the, the conditional formatting for all this, is you're going to say if, then a condition, and then you're going to have a set of brackets there. And then we're going to put if else, so, and this set of brackets is going to tell what happens if else is what happens. You don't get an if statement if you get the else. Okay. Uh, now, NetBeans was kind enough to build me these. Always double check to make sure I've got the right amount. So you can, one thing, it always lets you pair up to see where you're at. So, okay. So our condition is going to be if guess equals answer, then I want just a simple system out print line say yes you guessed the answer right and else we're just going to do another thing we'll do a system dot out dot print line sorry I'm going to go print line up there too we're going to say sorry wrong answer So that's the basic premise. Let me fix this print line here. Okay. Uh, we I don't need a print line at the end of this one because I'm actually going to hit the enter key myself after I put my value in. So that'll give me the, the next turn. So let's go ahead. Let's see if this runs on the first try through. See if I messed up. Run the file. And we'll go ahead and get the display down here so you can see the, what's going on. Okay. Enter a number between 1 and 7. Now, if we remember... My answer was six. Let's try the right answer first. We'll say six, put enter. Yes, I answered correctly. We go ahead and we run the file again. And now it'll say between one and ten. And I can say two. Sorry, wrong answer. You know, so that's it. Basic premise. This is it. You know, it's a very simple if else step you're going to make, but you're going to also bring in the scanner tool you learned earlier. So, you know, that's the thing with programs. You keep building on what you already learned. So, Again, here to a quick look at the code again, in case you want to review. So just remember, we brought in Java Utility Scanner, created our two variables, instantiated our scanner, and then we had a printed out the prompt we wanted, and we guessed it. We didn't have to use a print line here because we're going to hit enter anyway once we get guess our answer. Remember, we, our guess, we had to use the next int to let it know that's what I want. That also says if I try to put something that's not an integer in there, it's going to fail. And then I said, if my guess equals my answer, then I want you to print yes, that's correct. If it does not, then I want you to print, oh, sorry, wrong answer. And just to, uh, you know, Give you one last view here. Here's I want to show you what happens when you, we did the next, you know, here with the code. Let me see if I can. We're looking for this next end. Here's what happens if you try to put in something that's not an integer. It's going to fail. So, you know, that's what the next end's built for. So to make sure that you're not possibly answering to something that's not the correct data type we're looking at. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in class again. Uh, thank you very much.